<laughs> the puppy is crying. Hi friends, today is one of those days that is just escaping us, but one of our main goals for today is to get outside into the garden and do like a big harvest. We are going to try and grab every red tomato that we see, every tomato that is ready. The last time that we harvested, we got a good amount, but then a storm was coming in and it started to lighten while we were outside. I don't want the kids outside when it's lightning and thundering. <laughs> um, so we're going to go back outside today and get as much as we can, and maybe we'll have enough to make another small batch of spaghetti sauce, tomato sauce. Hey guys. You excited to help mommy? Yeah. All right, Katana got a basket. Are we gonna take our Home Depot bucket? Yep. Yeah, maybe the strainer as well? Yep. All right. Wish us luck. Every single tomato that we pick, like I still feel, I know it sounds cheesy, but I still feel shocked that we're growing food from our backyard. It's such a wonderful thing. So it's like we're at the grocery store, I'm gonna bring. Yeah. To put it in. Just it's because God's you grocery put, store. it's God's grocery store. This is an actual bucket we need. Yep, that's the bucket. And don't worry guys, we didn't steal this. This is a toy version, it's actually way smaller than you think. It's a toy version that we got from Ikea. I thought we got it from Hobby Lobby. The kids know that just just because you put seeds into the ground doesn't mean they're going to grow. <laughs> so we're super, super thankful for the harvests that we've had and continue to have and it's just incredible. Okay, take you can take it off. I'll give you guys a quick overview. Oh, we have some tomatoes that have fallen. I know the plants, they're, they're just not looking too great. The flooding just knocked them over and... You know, we're just making do. Um, but this section here of these squash, they are just growing so nicely. So, they're so strong and, and large. I definitely have lots of gardening to do, but you know, I'm trying. <laughs> we're homeschooling, we're cooking and cleaning and gardening and I'm doing my best. I just, mm, there's just so much to do. First, ear of corn is growing. That is exciting. We have a few stalks around the garden. We have some tomatoes in there. Some red ones back over there. A little forest of food. I feel badly because I know avid gardeners are going to There's cringe at all our weeds and the mess of this little tomato forest. But we're thankful for the food. We're learning. I already have this thing that's not like there's less so a lot more. <laughs> there are a lot more. We're doing what we can this year. We cut the grass a few days ago, but it's hard to get in into the edge here where the vines have come out. We're just, we try to be careful and go around them. Got a nice big butternut squash down there. We've just set all this up this year. So this is our little makeshift fence. We just pick it up to close it and then hook it right here. These green zebra tomatoes are amazing. They're incredible. They're so good, we all love them. Lots of yellow pear deep in there. Can I harvest this one, Mommy? I no, let really it get tell. a little more yellow, okay? I can't really tell if they're ready or not. Yeah, <laughs> the green zebras aren't quite ready. Let it get a little more yellow. The, the fence started falling down here. You hit my head. <laughs> Sorry the fence bumped you. Okay. Just focus on the red ones and the the dark yellow, like the bright yellow. I got a couple of tomatoes. Good girl, thank you. Here's another corn stalk. I don't see an ear yet, but once it gets a little taller, hopefully it puts, puts something on there. We had a sunflower here, and something bit the whole thing off. I don't know if you guys can see the stem right there. Right there was a, a sunflower. It's gone, but now it has regrown another one. Here we have watermelon. It has put on flowers, but I'm not sure if we'll have any watermelon or not. We'll see. This plant wasn't doing too great because it was under the shade of this tree, but as you see, we cut it down except for the trunk. So now it's able to get lots of sunlight. So we'll see. We may end up having some watermelon here. Squash or pumpkin, it's growing. That one is beautiful. It's split, but that's just because we've been having so much water. It's a good one. Put it in the bucket. I'm going to go and put the camera inside. 
I don't want to get busy helping the kids. But we will show you everything that we harvest. I'm shocked, you guys. I decided to pull up a few of our tomato plants. No, potato. Potato, <laughs> potato plants. Oh, we actually grew potatoes. George is going to be shocked. So excited. Um, we still have a few more plants, but we're done. This is what we've grabbed for today. <sighs> there's, there's more. We have the Home Depot bucket as well, but I'll show you guys yeah. everything once I get it washed and, and inside. Super shocked that the potatoes grew. Super excited about everything, of course, but that was, that was a big surprise for today. Um, I picked this one. I'm pretty sure it's fully grown. It was a darker green and now it, it started turning lighter So I think it was actually a little overgrown This one should have gotten a lot bigger, but Lucas decided to pick that today. So that's okay We went ahead and I believe we have 16 cucumbers here. So that'll be a nice batch of pickles and then here are the tomatoes So we still haven't done the trimming in the kitchen, but we're learning to grow food so we're so thankful for this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make another batch of sauce. I will leave some of the tomatoes in the fridge for the kids to munch on over the next few days, but I'm going to go ahead and try and make another batch of sauce tonight. And then I think I'll, I'll do the pickles tomorrow or the next day. I'm going to be relocating these potatoes. Um, they have to lay out for a few weeks to kind of cure, to develop like a really tough skin and then technically they would last for months and months though you can see this is like one to two meals worth um but we're so excited to have them and yeah i just wanted to show you guys what we harvested today so thank you for being here with us along our little adventure of learning to grow food hope you're enjoying seeing the harvests as well 